So, check it off, it disappears. It will run. Did you see that? Hi everyone, it's Simon. Welcome back to Better Creating. A classic Notion build video today for you creative and productive types. Whether you've been using Notion for years or you're brand new to it, I think you're gonna enjoy this one. I'm gonna show you an amazing new API solution to recurring tasks. It's that holy grail, isn't it, for so many of us Notion users, how to get a really great recurring task system into our workspace. Well, this one's rather cool. It allows you to set a date, set a recurrence, check a box and tick it off so it disappears and it'll come back at the right time in the future. You might enjoy this one. Recurring tasks using the API. This is free, really easy to set up. It takes about 10 minutes. We're gonna use my uh, template, my Productive Notion 2.0 template page to demonstrate this. I have a various set of views of tasks where I can input tasks and view the to-do lists here. And there's that weekly board view we'll look at a little bit later on. What you need in order to make this work are three columns. You're gonna need a, a, a due date column or a, a due date column. So if we just create a new task, um, example recurring, you're gonna to want to be able to set a date and that can include um, an end time and date as well. That would be repeated. You're gonna need a checkbox in order to check it off and you're gonna need this select function. You create a new column, select select function and into the boxes you can insert uh, different tags. These are the tags that this specific pipe dream integration is gonna need uh, unless you wanna set up your own. But I really like what they've got set up so I just copied them. You can't currently do with this integration every fourth Friday or whatever, but it, you could have it in and do it in your own way and the automation will still work and leave that alone if you wanted that option. So once you've got that set up within your task system, I have my views set so that when I click done, they disappear from all the views and go into a bin. That filter is what you're gonna need in your system to make it work. So you would go to filters on whichever view of the database you need, and one of your rules would need to be where done is checked so that you clear them all, always make it that. So the next step is go into the description below and find the Pipe Dream Automation link. You'll put this in and you'll find this page. Uh, it's on Gumroad, uh, it's Tilda Labs uh, offering this. You can pay them, you can get it for free, support your creators, it's always good. And that brings you through to this page, a full set of instructions of how to set up the automation. First of all, you're gonna need to set yourself up a free Pipe Dream account. It's easily done, as I say, it's free uh, for like the first 10,000 iterations of something happening, it's all good. Once you've done that, uh, you go to this link and you click copy it, so you copy it to your workspace. We will then find it here, this is it. First thing you're gonna to wanna to do is go down to the configure section and set up the five boxes you need to fill in. It's really, really simple. The first one is you're gonna to wanna to fill in your Notion API token. Go into the menu, click on settings and members, integrations at the bottom, and then at the very bottom of that, develop your own integrations. By clicking on that, we see a new page come up and this is where I created mine. That is the one I created. So you would click new integration. If we view mine, I have a secret integration token that is uh, added. I can leave everything as it is, give it a name and save it. And link it by taking a copy of the API token you've generated and pasting it into this box. Stage one complete. So we go back to our task list. We're gonna click on share. Make sure that it is shareable by flicking that switch. And you'll see here is a good example of an automation that I've allowed to edit it. That's what you're gonna to need to do. So rather than show you all of my contacts integrations, if you click on this uh, invite button, you should see your Pipe Dream uh, automation turn up. Click on it and it will be connected. The next stage is to find the task database that you want to link to. So for this, go back to the database page, click on share, and in here, you'll see the first forward slash that comes after the title. From that letter, copy everything that continues up to the question mark. This is all given as instructions in the integration page. And you're gonna paste that into the task database ID. Finally, the really easy bit. You need to fill in the three column titles to relate it to your database as you've set it up. I'm gonna put in the done, question mark, 
thing for my checkbox. I'm gonna put in my date, which is the do on date. And I'm gonna put in the auto repeat question mark as I've named it, which is my set of select functions. Now you want to name your select functions. I would suggest the same as this is set up. Now we're gonna go back up to the top and the final thing you're gonna to need to do is set up the trigger. It's set up as I think like 4 a.m. Uh, in America when you get it or in Canada. I changed my time zone to my personal time zone and you can just adjust this uh, to be a specific time. So I might like mine to start do it at 5 a.m. each day, so it runs it. You can click save, so it saved the workflow. Then if you click deploy, it will essentially set it ready to run and the next time it hits, my event time to trigger it, it will trigger it. So I'm gonna click deploy and it's ready to go. Now you have the option to run it now automatically if you want to do that. Um, I don't think there's any need for it, but when you're setting it up, it can be really helpful. So I just click that and it will run. Any checked tasks that have got a tag against them will come back at the right time. Now to prove how this works, I'm gonna show you it in my own home screen. So there is an example task I've set up. It was due last Wednesday and it's gonna be weekly. I made it in here so that we can quickly see it work. Normally you'd have to filter it by project to put it into there, but I've just uh, hacked it so I can show you. So, check it off, it disappears. We'll go to the API. Now watch on the left, we're gonna click run now. It will run. Did you see that? There you go. It's come back and it's turned up in the new week. Pretty cool. Now I discovered Notion when I was looking into intentional living, ways to simplify your life and actually use your time and energy more effectively. If you wanna think more about that, you might enjoy this video next or this one for more on other ways to use tech to make the most of your time. It would be awesome if you left a comment, amazing if you subscribed, of course, and I'll see you on the next one.